that's it. The monkey is going to get more attention. And this is one of the things I've been wanting to do for a while. I think I've had that sprocket for a year. This bike's been sitting in the garage and hasn't been driven. I've been using the Africa. And uh, with this gas price is going up, I've five millimeter Allen. Looks like there's, what, what do we got? Two of them there. Hard to reach in there, so I use some pliers to, just to help. When you pop those screws out, which are a little awkward, you gotta watch that retaining clip, it wants to fall out. There's the 15-2 stock one that needs to come off. These are 10 millimeter. Little ones. And then it's simply twist to get this off. Simple. It's just feeding it off and then taking that out. Try not to drop it. Hard to tell if you can see how much smaller that is. I've got it lined up in the center. That's the difference. I ran out of time last night to finish this up. I just buttoned this back in after I got the sprocket on. The sprocket was really tight um, and I ended up using the large socket to kind of tap it on. And then once I got it on, um, I was able to get get the screws on for the lock and to pull it right into place but now the problem is look at that saggy chain so I'm gonna adjust that back there well, since I've had the new sprocket on and been driving it about 50 miles a day I'm getting 133 to 135 miles per gallon on the first two Phillips I know that's got to be slightly off because the speedo's off also, but still, I'm pretty impressed with how it's running.